Hello everyone, welcome back to another Dokkan video. It's your boy Minatsu here, and I'm going to bring you here with the Majin Power Category Team. Uh, we did go ahead and beat the Legendary Vegeta event for this new category team that was added for the 7th anniversary. So that was, <laughs> that was quite an intro, I guess you could say. So uh, the, this team wasn't really... This is my first attempt and I got a new item, so... Honestly, it's not that bad. The Majin Power team has definitely gotten some buffs recently. And overall, I feel like the team has itself, as a team, aged pretty solidly. It just says that it's a team that doesn't really get buffs. So, me personally, I don't really end up running the team. I don't, or I don't end up running teams in general unless they, like, I'm trying out the new unit or there's buffs around that team specifically. So, that's why I haven't really ran this team too often. But there is one very big addition that I would like to kind of point out and that is the tech uh tech jinembu right here he got his easy a recently and that tech jinembu is quite insane he's a defense stacker he can guard if he dodges an attack in the same turn he recovers hp if he receives an attack uh he's just very very strong right he also does have the uh full attack and defense plus 60 percent with each extreme class ally attacking in the same turn Obviously, you're going to get this fully activated on the Majin Power team, so it's no issue whatsoever. And he shares a couple of links with these Majin units, like Majin, Brutal Beatdown, Shocking Speed, Jattering the Limit even sometimes. Uh, he's a very good unit. Infinite Regeneration is another link that he shares with some of these units. So, uh, this Jinembu is very, very good. Uh, and his stats are pretty solid, too. I mean, he has 11.5k defense, not even including any skill orbs. Mine has a lot of skill orbs on him, so... I think this Jinembu is a must run, especially since he's tech, and at the end, obviously, you want to have as many, have some tech units just for the Blue Evolution Vegeta. Um, I did bring Exchange Boo. Exchange Boo is my leader, because he gives us the full 170% across the board, and when he transforms into Super Boo, he has the damage reduction, which, again, is going to be very, very helpful against the final Blue Evolution Vegeta stage. That's where you're really going to take advantage of this uh, Fat Boo, especially if that's pretty good. Obviously, we did bring uh, Boo Tanks and a Boo Tanks friend, them infinitely stacking for the whole events and being able to transform into Boo Han after some time will allow them to really do most of the damage, I'd say, does come from the Boo Tons. Uh, once we're able to, once you transform to them in the like later parts of the stage, I believe I don't even transform with them until like the end of the Blue Vegeta stage specifically. But because of that, they're able to do a lot of damage, and especially if they are linked up with the Kid Boo, they'll be able to share big bad bosses. And, you know, just, I kind of segueing into that, I did run STR Kid Boo. He was off rotation the whole time, we didn't even get his active skill, but obviously he's still a very good unit. He's able to do lots of damage, defend pretty well, and all you need to do is hide him against the Blue Evolution Vegeta. If you're able to hide him against the AGO Evolution Blue Vegeta, you're basically going to ensure that he won't take any super attacks. And in that situation, you know, obviously you'll be able to skip by. Now, I know, you know, that's not always going to be the case. So, I would say, even if you have Esther Kid you might not bring him. Maybe even bring, um... <laughs> you probably don't want to bring the tech Super Boo, but... Uh, maybe, like, Boo Piccolo is another unit you could bring. He supports all the Boo Hans, uh, and the... I think... Does he support the Super Boo? He might support the Super Boo as well, right? The Tech Super Boo specifically. Not the Easy A that we got recently. I mean the uh, Exchange Boo. Let's see. Yeah, Exchange Boo is on Power Absorption, so you would be able to get the support from him. And honestly, that's really it. Uh, you could get away with Maju, maybe. He's a Rainbow Orb Changer. Oh, right. One last, two last characters, actually. There's the Tech uh, South Supreme Kai Boo. He's a, he's a floater, you guys saw him around. He actually does some pretty solid damage. And along with that, you know, again, in the last phase, if you're able to get his damage reduction active, he can take pretty solidly. So I think he's a, a sleeper option that people won't really think about. I think that Boo actually is pretty nice to run, especially because he links so well with Kid Boo. If you end up having them on rotation somehow, uh, they do share like, what, six or seven links together. So that's pretty insane. I brought this Int Boo Bobby as well. I feel like he's kind of like, I, I understand you would obviously want key for him when he's above 50% HP, uh, 80% HP I mean, but I mean, he's still very good, I feel like his defense is pretty solid since he has great raise, if you are under the 80% HP threshold, he does give everyone 3 key and 50% attack, and that's activated at the start of turn, he also does recover 8% HP himself, so overall he will actually be a pretty good unit I think to bring, um, People don't really talk about him. I just I think he's a real solid option. 
you can also bring uh, Tech Oob, the LR Tech free to play Oob. Again, he gives you that 40% heal, and that could be very, very good. Getting that 40% heal just for free. Though I will say, honestly, he doesn't really work the greatest with the rest of the team until he is Maju. And even then, it's like, you don't really need the extra 40% heal with this team. Obviously, like you see, I got a no item run here very easily. Um, look at that, I'm guarding right there. Took no damage from the blue Vegeta, but um, the team heals so much already with like all these Majin links, you know. Buhan heals, Janembu heals, you know, um, it's a Bu the Boo Babidi heals, Kid Boo could heal, Super Boo could heal with his links and stuff like that. Like, there's way too much healing going on. Uh, I think this is here where I decided to transform to Buhan, just so we can get the actual, um, we can start getting the damage in and finish off this Vegeta this turn. I think it's enough, you know, stacking up. I think we're good here. Um, units I would recommend not bringing, probably SR21. I don't know. I SR21 is nice, but I I don't like her that much, right? She could recover HP. You could get away with running her, sure, especially when you get her transformed. But I, I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of this SR21. Um, she's good though. She definitely is good. She's another big bad bosses unit you could run for the uh, Buhans right there. If you're running her as a floater and you have Buhans on rotation, then you'll be able to tank pretty well. But yeah, that is pretty much it. I mean, this Majin power team is not really too extravagant. I wouldn't really recommend running anyone else, though. Like, you know, I, I guess another option, I guess, really looking at it, is the physical good boo. The one that he also recovers HP when he falls below a th certain threshold. I think... Uh, let me double check here uh, while we're on the video. Uh, he recovers 30% HP when you're under 40%. So that could be good. And as long as you're able to get his attacks up, I he could probably be around a good 200k defense. So, I mean, it's not bad. You could definitely use him. And I think he'll definitely be usable. Uh, especially if you do fall under that HP threshold and are able to take advantage of the 40% heal that or the 30% heal you can give. Um, and yeah, that's, I don't know, that's really good. But I think we finished him off the next turn with Buhan. So, that's, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, if there's any other options or anything like that you guys use for this team, let me know. Uh, I, I personally feel like this is probably the better team, the best team you probably could run for this state specifically. Um, obviously, there's other builds and other units you could always run, but I think this build specifically again it allowed me to get the item run. So if you're just looking for a team to kind of copy and beat the stage, feel free to copy this one. And especially if you're using items, you'll definitely be able to clear this. I feel like, uh, especially with the amount of healing this team has. But let me know what you guys think. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.